on this episode of Gadget. Oh yeah. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net, where it's time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus, the California province of the Jesuits. It's a religious order of the Catholic Church. And we're here today in the Gadget Retreat in Henderson, Nevada, right outside of Las Vegas. I'm here for a couple of days of rest and recuperation after a month of just crazy intense busyness. Now, I want to apologize at first for missing so many weeks of release, the Gadget crew got a little tied up and we weren't able to write reviews, shoot video, or edit the episodes the way we wanted. But now we're back. Now this month of busyness started with two weeks here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas for Interop, the most prestigious and largest networking conference in the world, where a couple of dozen uber geeks and engineers gathered to build the largest temporary network in the world for what is perhaps the most interesting confluence of networking technology ever. We took some of the highest pieces of technology, we took some of the most interesting pieces of gear, and we built something that we could be proud of. Now, after those two weeks, I had another two weeks of preparation for and celebration of my ordination. That's right, on June 9th, 10 o'clock a.m., at the Sacred Heart Chapel on the Loyola Marymount University campus, Jerry Hayes, Chu Ngo, and myself were ordained to the Roman Catholic priesthood after 13 and 14 years of formation. I want to thank everyone who called, who wrote, who sent email messages wishing me the best. To you, I say thank you very much. It means a lot to me to hear from you, especially those who were strangers, who I didn't even know. I also want to thank all the family and friends who made it down for the ordination itself and for my first Mass especially those who traveled from far distances, the Arizona Balasers, the Rerise, the Granados, Manang Vilma from the Philippines, the Nanakas, and all my Jesuit brothers, especially Blanco, Brother Jim Sanders, Eddie Samaniego, Ted Gabrielli. It meant a lot to me to have you there. So thank you. Thank you very much. But let's get on to the tech. We've got something a little bit different today on Gadget. Now, in past episodes, even when the gear's been a little strange, we've always been able to work the angle of it being useful in some way, uh, productive, something for business, something for networking, something that will guarantee that your productivity will increase. Oh, we're not even going to try that today. Today, we've got a couple of toys from Hobbytron. It's a large remote control hobbyist on the web store. that has sent us a few of their remote control choppers. Now, these are unique in that they're ready to run out of the box, and they've sent us both the entry-level Hornet 3 and the more advanced Apache models of their remote control flyers. Now, both of these units are pretty much ready to go out of the box. They Out of the box, they look like they look right now. You just add a couple of AA batteries in order for the remotes to be powered up. Now, it should be noted that these are indoor flyers. We have had a couple of weeks to play around with these, and if you try to take them outdoors, even the slightest gust of wind will blow it into a fence or into a wall or knock it out of the air. So they've been designed to fly inside in a medium to large size room where there's plenty of space for you to get a feel for the controls. We've got a couple of videos here that will show you the differences between the entry level and the more advanced model, and then maybe you can decide if this might make a nice Father's Day gift, a birthday gift for a son or a nephew or just something to geek out on over the weekends. The Hornet 3 is Hobbytron's entry-level ready-to-fly electric mini helicopter. It is constructed of nearly indestructible EPP foam. There is a small motor that spins the tail rudder and allows the user to rotate the vehicle, as well as a larger motor that spins the main blades. The underside of the Hornet has an on-off switch, a port for connecting the charger, and an area for attaching weights to the vehicle to give it different flight characteristics and profiles. These two motors are directly controlled by the two control sticks on the remote control, 
a relatively simple setup that lends itself to beginners. The remote utilizes 15 position controls and communicates with the Hornet via an IR link. The remote control of the Hornet provides both the control interface for the helicopter as well as its power source. Flying the Hornet, well, let's just say that I'm lucky it's indestructible because I'm a horrible pilot. A single charge gave me between 7 and 10 minutes of flight, enough to gradually learn how to fly this fun machine. The Hornet was just the warm-up for the Apache. This model has twin counter-rotating blades and an advanced control system that changes the pitch and speed of the blades to control the craft. The underside of the Apache sports the transmission, linkages, and the cage for the battery which will power the helicopter for 10 minutes of flight. The remote control is a four-channel unit that moves the helicopter up and down, left and right, forward and back, as well as rotating the craft. Flying the Apache was quite fun. Even my first time out wasn't a complete disaster. It was probably my training on the Hornet 3 that allowed me to not plow the chopper into the floor. However, I've been promised that once I get a little experience with the helicopter, I'll be able to fly it like this. So a few final thoughts about the helicopters from Hobbytron. They are, without a doubt, some of the most entertaining pieces of technology that we've had here on Gadget. They're just fun. Right out of the box, they're ready to fly. They're pretty uh, resilient to destruction. And, I mean, let's be honest. Who hasn't thought about flying a helicopter or a remote control plane, shooting down enemy aircraft in your imagination? It's just sort of a boyhood uber geek dream. Now, the nice thing about this is that in sending us to two different helicopters, Hobbytron has really given us a nice range, something that you can fly right out of the box, crash as many times as you need to, and learn the, uh, the, the general principles of helicopter flight, everything from the collective to the tail rotor and uh, pitch of the blades, to the more advanced flying of the Apache, which is actually in and of itself a very nicely detailed model. Now, if, if I had to get one of these, I'd probably get a couple of these first because, like we said in the review, these are nearly indestructible. And the fact that it's only a two-control setup means that you can hone your skills, making sure you know how to hover, how to keep it from smacking against the ceiling or the floor, before moving up to the more expensive Apache. Now, the Hornet 3 can be bought at Hobbytron for uh, anywhere from $35 to $40, depending on what you get with it. And the Apache, you'd be looking at about $110 to $120. And, of course, on the website, you can buy all the replacement parts and pieces that you might need after smacking your craft into the floor. Now, if you are looking for something for your father on this Father's Day, or something for your son, or your nephew, or even your niece, let's not be sexist here, these might actually be something you want to look at. They're cheap, they're fun, and, uh, you know, it really kind of expands across all age ranges as far as looking at who would want to play with these. If you want to learn more about these helicopters, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net, click on the Gadget tab, and you can read the full reviews as well as find the links for these particular models of the helicopters. If you want to email us, send us a friendly email at gadget at thetechstop.net, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Keep those emails coming, keep the phone calls coming, keep the messages on YouTube coming. We really appreciate the support. Now, I've been your host, Robert Balliser. This is the Gadget Retreat in Henderson, Nevada, and I'm just reminding you that there's no Uber geek without you. Take care. Thank you.